In 2021, when Jeff Bezos announced a plan to launch himself into space, a petition to make him stay in space got more than 165,000 signatures. This petition was driven by criticism over Jeff's tiny contribution to the community, despite accumulating a massive amount of wealth. Even in rocketry, he is also a bum, given that not only he has not launched any orbital rocket, but also slowed down the progress of the commercialization of space. Among that, can't help but mention his latest dirty trick to his arch-rival, Elon Musk, involving Starship's plans. So, what exactly is his conspiracy? How does Elon Musk react verbally and non-verbally? Find out everything in today's episode of TechMap. On June 21st, Blue Origin filed a public comment last week recommending that the Federal Aviation Administration put a limit on how many launches SpaceX can perform with its Starship Super Heavy booster and rockets at Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The filing comes as a part of the ongoing preparations of a proposed Action Environmental Impact Statement EIS, from the regulator. To sum up, their filling is basically as follows. Due to its huge size, Starship will likely require far larger safety exclusion zones for each launch and landing than with other current rockets. So this can cause overlap in the operational sites of other companies, the government and the public. They are concerned that SpaceX's operation will affect their operation and their assets surrounding the Cape, including Port Canaveral and those at sea. Blue Origin Florida is the current lessee of Space Launch Complex 36 and also leases from the United States Space Force and occupies the properties known as Hangar S, Hangar O, Launch Complexes 1 to 4, and Launch Complex 12. All are within the vicinity of SpaceX's leased Launch Complex 39A where Starship operations are planned to take place. With 44 launches a year as SpaceX's plan in NASA Kennedy Space Center, Blue is not going to get any work done on their launch sites and possibly other facilities. Therefore, the government should cap the rate of Starship Super Heavy launch, landing, and other operations. The additional launch infrastructure is very needed to deconflict Starship Super Heavy operations from other launch providers at KSC and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. If there are any losses caused by or related to Starship Super Heavy operations, SpaceX and or the government have to indemnify. Imposing penalties on SpaceX if the company violates the terms in an active EIS or other environmental restriction a launch license, or any other laws, regulations, or other rules for operating. At first glance, the filing seems to be pretty normal. It very much isn't the environment is at risk, stop Starship Super Heavy from flying, reducing Starship's manifest to protect the other infrastructures and operations instead. However, when looking closely, we can easily realize Blue Origin is playing tricks on SpaceX. SpaceX aims at CAPE as the main site for Starship operation in the future, and the first CAPE launch tower is coming online around the middle of next year. These efforts aim at their long-term plan to launch three times daily and 1,000 times per year in all launch sites. Limiting the Starship launch rate in Florida means directly destroying SpaceX's plans, especially when the company is in the final stages of building the Star Factory to serve Starship's mass production. Imagine what if SpaceX could not launch enough of Starship's flight cadence. First, according to the law of supply and demand, output demand at Star Factory will decrease sharply to avoid the situation of a surplus of goods. This will cause a serious loss for SpaceX when the output is not equivalent to the factory's scale, not to mention the storage cost for the operational vehicles that are not completely utilized. Second, SpaceX will take much longer time to cut Starship's cost per launch down to under $10 million. You know, the more Starship launches, the lower the costs become. This will erode the customer's belief in SpaceX, as well as Elon Musk. Even if Blue Origin failed in this suit at least, they can slow SpaceX's progress in Florida or excite the citizens or organizations there, inhibiting SpaceX's operation. SpaceX has also faced several troubles caused by environmental groups claiming rockets harm critical Texas animal and human habitats. So, we cannot ignore this possibility. In conclusion, Blue Origin's main purpose is to decrease SpaceX's competitive advantages in the market, including rapid progress and low cost. So please drop the heart icon in the comment if you agree that Blue is conducting a dirty tricks campaign. Nevertheless, 
it appears not to be a big deal for SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. He tweeted a short response, Sue Origin and even has the more dangerous knockback. Despite Blue's intention to prevent 44 launches per year of Starship from LC-39A, SpaceX decided to level up Starship's manifest in Florida to 120 times per year within a six-mile area on the Florida coast, including 76 times per year on SLC-37 combination with 44 in KSC. At a series of public meetings held in March, the public was invited to comment on such plans to launch Starship from SLC-37. The U.S. Space Force is currently preparing the draft environmental assessment that will be released to the public this winter, and that document will contain SpaceX's final anticipated launch cadence. In more than two decades of running SpaceX, Musk has repeatedly been the victim of his bad blood opponent, from clashing over a patent dispute concerning the method for landing rockets on sea platforms to filing a complaint about NASA's $2.9 billion contract for Starship HLS. Of course, all the arguments that Blue Origin gave were unreasonable, so they continuously lost. Furthermore, Amazon's founder is seen as slippery as an eel, as what he said seemed to go against what he actually did. In the Lex Fridman podcast, 405, Jeff Bezos took the high road when talking about Musk. I don't really know Elon very well. Um, you know, I know his public persona, but I also know you can't know anyone by their public persona. Um, it's impossible. I mean, you may think you do, but I guarantee you don't. So I don't really know. You know Elon way better than I do, Lex. But um, in, in terms of his judging by the results, he must be a very capable leader. Um, there's no way you could have, you know, Tesla and SpaceX without being a capable leader. It's impossible. His action, in fact, well, is not like taking the high road so much, though. He still keeps his infantile behavior, almost doing nothing and criticizing SpaceX for doing a lot. Blue Origin still hasn't put a single rocket into orbit. Although they began developing systems for orbital human spacecraft prior to 2012, what only vehicle that has come into life to date is the suborbital vehicle, New Shepard. The penis-shaped rocket has launched 25 missions so far. Its orbital reusable rocket, New Glenn, is still on the ground and is expected to have its inaugural launch no earlier than September 29, 2024, four years later than originally planned in 2020. Well, while we are just two months away from the new Glenn launch, the latest update from the company is just the test of the rapid retract system serving the rocket's liftoff. Not only on the rocket, but Blue is also well known for the long-term delay in delivering its B-4 rocket engine to its customer ULA, contributing to the embarrassing delays for ULA's Vulcan Centaur. SpaceX is so different and, of course, much better. The company is leading the world with 361 launches of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy in total. In 2016, Jeff Bezos showed off to the world his new Glenn rocket. At the time, Elon Musk also unveiled his initial steps on the way of going to Mars with the gigantic Starship rocket. Yet, unlike New Glenn, Starship, the largest and the most powerful rocket ever built, has lifted off three times, gradually gotten reliable, and is being upgraded to the next version. And the plan in Florida is one of SpaceX's ambitious plans for this vehicle. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.